All right. Thank you so much, Matt. Well, we begin with a News 4 Tucson investigation continues stunning charges. They involve your tax dollars, human smuggling, and a federal worker. News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Short reports. He fights fires for the U.S. Forest Service. Now he's facing heat in federal court. Juan Antonio Correa Tapia is a fire captain with the Forest Service based in Douglas. The News 4 Tucson investigators have learned that Correa Tapia has been charged with transportation of illegal aliens for private financial gain. Court records state that on January 8th, Border Patrol agents observed, quote, three illegal aliens come out of a brushy area and get into a white Dodge pickup truck that was parked on the side of the road. Agents followed and saw the driver later identified as Korea Tapia pull over and the three individuals run away. All three were caught and determined to be citizens of Mexico in the U.S. illegally. Also, a source told the News 4 Tucson investigators that this happened on taxpayers' time, that Korea Tapia was driving a government vehicle and was in uniform. This individual accused of these crimes is being paid with our taxpayer dollars. Records show a passenger in the truck told Border Patrol agents that Correa Tapia was receiving instructions over the phone while driving, and he assumed Correa Tapia was being paid to transport the illegal immigrants. And there's more. Three weeks later, on January 30th, Correa Tapia was arrested again by Border Patrol agents north of Douglas in Sulphur Springs Valley. Records show that five undocumented immigrants, including a child, were in the truck and that they told agents they made arrangements to be smuggled into the U.S. for various amounts of money. When you introduce money into the smuggling equation, you now have to ask, how much more is there to this? Is this the tip of the iceberg? Who's paying the money? Is there a larger criminal organization or enterprise involved? Frank Figluzzi is the former assistant director for counterintelligence for the FBI. The allegations depict a betrayal of the public trust. Correa Tapia has pleaded not guilty to all charges. He was released on $5,000 bond after his first arrest, but has been in federal custody since the second one. His attorney and the U.S. Forest Service refused comment. In fact, the Forest Service wouldn't even confirm that Correa Tapia works there. Here's what's happening behind the scenes right now. They're trying to develop cooperators, informants, people who are incensed about what they're seeing in this public employee, and they're going to try to answer the question, is this just a one-off, second time? Is it a relative he was helping out? Is there some minor relationship with somebody on the other side of the border? Or is there a much bigger picture here? We've also learned that Correa Tapia has a criminal record. Records show he served two stints totaling three years in state prison for disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and a drug charge. Convicted felons are allowed to hold federal jobs with some exceptions, none of which prohibited Correa Tapia from being hired. Figluzzi, who's not involved in this case, says the Forest Service needs to ask a lot of questions. Are there controls in place to know where the people are? where the vehicles are. There'll be an internal inquiry as well as this now very, uh, very public criminal inquiry. Correa Tapia remains behind bars. A judge will rule soon on whether his bond should be forfeited. We'll keep you posted on a story that has officials on both sides keeping unusually quiet. A story that could have a lot of moving parts. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.